Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we delve into That Little Voice in Your Head, a thought provoking exploration of the human brain through the lens of technology and science. In this eye opening book, Mo Gaudat, the former chief business officer for Google X and a renowned technologist, takes us on a journey to understand our mind's operating system, drawing parallels between the complexities of the brain and the intricate world of computer science. As the author of three best-selling books, including Solve for Happy and Scary Smart, Gaudat brings a wealth of knowledge to the topic. His unique perspective merges the fields of neuroscience and technology to offer practical exercises and insights that empower readers to take command of their thoughts and emotions. By reprogramming our mental processes, we can lead more fulfilling lives and positively influence those around us. This enlightening read is especially suitable for anyone keen on enhancing their happiness, individuals eager to boost their emotional intelligence, and those fascinated by the growing relationship between human cognition and the evolution of artificial intelligence. Gordat, the founder of the One Billion Happy Movement and host of the insightful podcast, Slow Mo offers wisdom not just for personal growth, but also for navigating the intersection of well being and the accelerating pace of AI development. Join us as we summarize the key lessons from that little voice in your head and explore how we can tap into the power of our minds to shape a happier existence. That little voice in your head, adjust the code that runs your brain. Introduction, unlock the secrets of happiness with insights from a seasoned tech expert. Are you familiar with the little voice inside your head? The one that can often be your harshest critic? We all have it, and sometimes it can be a relentless source of negative chatter. But what if you could understand this internal dialogue and use it to steer your life toward happiness? In That Little Voice in Your Head, former Google X executive Mo Gaudet brings his wealth of experience as a computer scientist to the table, showing us how we can effectively reprogram our mental software. Pulling from a rich tapestry of his own life experiences, notably the profoundly life-altering loss of his son Ali, Gaudat sketches a poignant blueprint for achieving a state of happiness that is as much enduring as it is scientifically grounded. But why would a computer scientist be an authority on happiness? It turns out that the human brain can be likened to the most complex of machines. And just like machines have operating systems and software that can be optimized, so can our brains be tuned and tweaked towards a default setting that favors joy and contentment. Embark on a journey with Gaudat as he demystifies the cerebral landscape of thoughts and emotions that govern our everyday lives. By introducing you to the algorithms and processes behind your thoughts, you'll learn to detect glitches in your perception that misguide your feelings of well being. Gaudat doesn't just theorize about happiness, he has been an active force in its promotion, spearheading the One Billion Happy Movement. Imagine a world where one billion people are genuinely happy. You could be one of them, and this audiobook is where your journey begins. But remember, getting to grips with your inner workings means getting hands-on. There are practical exercises and actionable steps detailed within, so be prepared to actively engage with the content. Gear up with a pen and notebook or your digital note-taking app, because your path to reclaiming happiness begins now. And what you'll learn from Gaudat's user's manual For the brain is something you'll want to scribble down and revisit time and time again. So take a deep breath, silence that critical inner voice for a moment, and prepare to embrace the insights that could very well set you on the path to your happiest self. Part 1. Taking the Reins. How to Manage Your Mind's Chatter. Imagine being handed the manual to the most sophisticated technology you've ever owned, your own brain. It can be a daunting idea, but Mo Gaudat believes it's possible. A critical perspective he shares is the understanding that thoughts are the products of the brain, not the essence of who you are. The brain is phenomenal, akin to an organic supercomputer, 
but it is, in Godard's comparison, similar to any other organ. For example, lungs are designed to process air and produce necessary gases for our survival. They don't define us, nor do their functions express our full capacity as human beings. Likewise, the brain's outputs, our thoughts, should not be confused with our identity. This revelation paves the way for an empowering reality. You can exert influence over your thoughts. The persistent murmurs of self-doubt or anxiety that often occupy your mind don't have to dictate your actions. In fact, you can train this little voice to become a source of positivity and contentment. Armed with this knowledge, let's delve into the brain's basics, the control panel, if you will. Godot simplifies the brain's function into an accessible operational diagram. He outlines three elements, inputs, or the information your brain absorbs, processes, or what your brain does with this information, and outputs, or the results produced by these inputs and processes. If you're seeking happiness but it feels just out of reach, you might be thinking your hardware is malfunctioning, you've tried updating your software, perhaps by experimenting with meditation or fitness regimens, yet the system of self still lags. It could be time to reassess from the ground up, starting with inputs. To get a clearer picture of your own input data, here's a simple activity. Set aside five peaceful minutes to reminisce about the last week. Write down anything and everything you can remember, what you've heard, seen, encountered, and felt, along with any associated thoughts. Hold on to this list. It will soon become an invaluable reference as you explore the intricate workings of your brain, and eventually, it will guide you in identifying and addressing the roots of your happiness, or lack thereof. Part 2. Decode the brain's bug list to find your path to happiness. Do you ever feel like your brain is working against you in your pursuit of happiness? If so, Mo Godat has pinpointed four culprits that might be to blame. Like a skilled technician diagnosing a malfunction, understanding these areas is key to fine-tuning your mental machinery. The first issue to tackle is faulty input. There are four sources to consider. Conditioning, which shapes your perceptions. Recurring thoughts from the past that influence your present. Emotions that have built up over time. And external triggers, like societal pressures, that can unconsciously dictate your reactions. Next in line are the brain's three defense mechanisms. Think of these as the security protocols in place to protect you, but sometimes they can be a little too overzealous. Your reptilian brain acts as your personal bodyguard, constantly on the lookout for threats. Your mammalian brain is the hedonist, always chasing after pleasure. Lastly, your advanced rational brain is your inner strategist, calculating your every move. While all are vital, they can lead you astray if they're out of balance and dominate your responses. Then we come to what Godot refers to as the two polarities, the right brain and the left brain. Consider these as the dual processors in a complex system, one artistic and creative, the other logical and analytical, when they're not functioning harmoniously, just like with an out-of-sync computer, the results can be less than ideal. Finally, we arrive at the singular thought pattern that has the potential to wreak the most havoc on your mental state, incessant thinking, or what Gaudat terms as rumination. If you constantly revisit and chew over negative thoughts like a cow with its cud, it's hardly surprising that you're digesting a lot of unhealthy mental material. Unpack these four layers, the bug list of your brain, and you're ready to embark on the critical process of debugging. This is where true change starts. Just like cleaning up a computer's hard drive or updating its operating system, a clear strategy for addressing these mental bugs will put you on a direct course to a happier, more harmonious state of mind. Stay tuned as we prepare to delve into the debugging process next. Part 3. Debug your mind's software with targeted questioning and habit overhaul. After identifying the four main glitches that can trigger unhappiness in our minds, Mo Gaudat hands us the tools to begin the debugging process. 
Just like fixing bugs in a computer program, it takes a mix of diagnostic questioning and the establishment of new positive habits to optimize your brain's output for happiness. For those four troublesome types of inputs, conditioning, old thoughts, pent-up emotions, and hidden triggers, start with introspection. Question the validity, origin, and usefulness of each thought that crosses your mind. Refer back to your earlier list and challenge each entry. Ask yourself if these beliefs are truly beneficial, where they stem from, and if they are even based in reality. When confronting the primal responses of your reptilian brain, assess your actual level of danger. Pose questions that help you rationalize the threat. Is this a life or death situation? Are there examples of others who've experienced similar fears and not only survived but thrived? By regularly reminding yourself of your real safety, you can begin to quell unnecessary fears. Similar investigative exercises can halt relentless rumination. When that inner monologue spirals, let it happen. But when it stops, prompt it for a new thought. With persistence, Gaudet suggests a 25-minute exercise with a timer. That voice will quiet down, wearied by your scrutiny. Beyond questioning, it's time to build habits that counterbalance or reverse the brain's bug list. To combat hidden triggers from media, consider limiting your exposure. For instance, Godard chose to avoid violent movies and reduce his news consumption to merely glancing at headlines every few days. This awareness can profoundly impact your sense of peace. Taming the mammalian brain's attachment tendencies might require some decluttering of both physical possessions and mental clutter. Godot recommends dedicating time regularly to let go of material belongings as a practice to ease detachment from other non-material attachments that do not serve your well-being. Balancing your brain's polarities, the emotional right and analytical left, involves a conscious effort to tackle issues from both sides. Gordat's Be, Learn, Do approach is about becoming aware, gathering information, and then taking informed action, a holistic strategy that engages all facets of your cerebral capacity. By interrogating the motivations behind your thoughts and emotions and stepping up your mental maintenance routine, you'll not only boost self-confidence, but also lay the groundwork for more profound transformations in your quest for happiness. This newfound control is the first step toward advanced programming that will fully elevate your life experience. Part four, enhance your brain's output through effective thinking patterns. Who wouldn't want to savor a state of happiness akin to that of a Zen Buddhist monk, deeply immersed in profound tranquility? But for most of us, investing hours a day in meditation is a luxury we can't afford. That's where Mogodat's practice of useful thinking comes into play, an accessible approach for those of us sprinting through the busy corridors of modern life. Gaudat presents four beneficial thinking patterns that you can cultivate to push aside the negative and open doors to positivity, all while being actively engaged in the world. First up is experiential thinking which is essentially mindfulness in action. It's about tuning in to life's detailed tapestry, appreciating the swirls in your morning coffee, or truly listening to the melody of your favorite tune. This intentional focus on the external or internal landscape of our experience can ward off distressing thoughts and center us in the present moment. Problem solving is a thinking style that, beyond being appreciated in the workplace, can be a personal superpower. To deal with a problematic thought or situation, Godard suggests a trio of questions. Is it true? Can I do something about it? And is acceptance and commitment to the situation within my power? By following through with these questions, you can either take actionable steps or cultivate serenity in the face of the unchangeable. The essence of flow lies in losing oneself in an activity that conjures happiness and a sense of timelessness. By setting a challenge just slightly out of reach or breaking it down into smaller pieces, you essentially create a game with your own proficiency that can bring joy and satisfaction. Finally, we turn our attention to the enduring fulfillment that comes from giving. Whether it's sharing a genuine smile, offering a heartfelt compliment, 
or contributing your time and resources to those in need, giving has been scientifically proven to enhance our sense of happiness significantly. In this exchange, you truly can only gain. Useful thinking isn't just about self-improvement. It's a beacon that shines outward, potentially impacting the world in meaningful ways. As you train your brain to default to these constructive thought patterns, you'll not only evict negativity, but also contribute to a collective atmosphere of benevolence and joy. Final summary. Imagine your brain as a complex yet tameable piece of software. Within it resides the potential for profound happiness, but only if you understand how to debug and optimize its processes. As you endeavor to find joy, remember, you are the programmer of your own experience, not a passive bystander to your thoughts. Throughout this guide, Mo Goda teaches that the path to happiness is about dissecting the various inputs, processes, and thoughts that may hold you back. By learning that your thoughts do not define you, you unlock the ability to reframe and redirect them. There are specific faults within our brain's programming that contribute to unhappiness. The four disruptive inputs, three ingrained defense mechanisms, two hemispheric polarities, and one pattern of incessant negative thinking. By identifying and tackling each layer, you become an adept debugger, paving the way towards a smoother, happier mental operation. Remember, the strategies to conquer these issues all boil down to self-questioning and the cultivation of new habits. Challenge each thought and feeling for its validity and utility. Overhaul habits that lead to negativity and embrace those that encourage balance and contentment. Above all, engage in useful thinking by immersing yourself in the present, resolving problems effectively, finding delight in the flow of challenging activities, and altruistically giving to others. Not only do these thinking patterns propel you towards a happier state, they radiate positivity and foster a happier world around you. This recap encapsulates Gaudat's philosophy on achieving happiness. By embracing these lessons, you become the commander of your cognitive ship, steering it away from stormy seas of discontent and towards the serene waters of joy. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then, happy reading and happy listening.